Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I know in this video I say that a thousand times because as you can see, I'm showing you the finished product of these 15 basket concepts that I'm making in this video. So that means I've already started this video, done this video, but came back in to show y'all some of my inventory that I have. And y'all, I don't really have much. I'm going for 100 and I've only got 30. No, I'm going for 150, maybe 200, and I only got 30. Today is Monday, I mean Wednesday the 3rd, um, but I, I feel like I'm rolling them out. I'm rolling them out now. So, by the end of the week, I should be at at least 150, and that's how you make 150 baskets in a week, honey. Rolling these little 20 out here at a time is, is, is kind of crazy to me. This is only like 15 that I did in this video. But I hope you are enjoying this channel. If you, if you might as well go ahead and like this video already. I know that's, I say that later on. But just go ahead and like the video. It's a little bit long. I was here and there. You know, but when I came out of my head with it, it was nothing to it. You know, don't overthink the baskets. Just go ahead and do them, y'all. Everything came out so pretty. Um, and I'm definitely liking everything. You know, I was all over the place in the video, but I'm definitely liking everything. Go ahead and give this video a like. Thumbs up. Hope you're liking the channel. Sorry, it's been a minute for me to push them out. Um, but I have them back to back. I actually been making them all weekend, but have not posted. Here we go, y'all. See y'all um, later on, because this video is over. Just go ahead and watch it. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I'm probably going to have to say that again, but hey, today's video is going to consist of me doing... Um, oh, wow. I should think I'm supposed to turn it all on that way, so in the back you just see white. Uh, do I? Uh, Jesus, I think I'm gonna have to go turn it around and fix it because I'm gonna basically cover this up. But anyway, I want to give y'all a look at how I'm doing my baskets in bulk. Okay, so basically, I'm lining up doing three concepts at a time. Um, I got some in four different colors, and I'm about to move this stuff over here out the way and put some more. I'm gonna pull this whole table with them so it looks like I can get about five more on this table, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm done with pink bags for now. So far I have 10 already ready. Um, what I'm doing with these little buckets. All of these buckets I got from Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, and all I did was use a USPS box in the inside of it. This is actually a 7x7x6 um, seven by seven by box that fits in these baskets. It fit in every last one of these buckets I got. I got different types of buckets and it fits in each and every one of them. Once I put this box in it, all I did next was put a piece of tissue paper over the top. And then I'm going to put a little bit of shreds in the front. But I said, okay, I'm going to put my stuff in here. And then maybe like KLK Party um, Fables. She puts it, you know, around in the inside. Which I feel like it's going to be covering up my stuff. But I'm going to try it this time, y'all. Because normally, you know, I'm not shy about no shredding paper. I buy this stuff by the box and I put a whole little piece right across the top. But being because I have this box, I don't need to do that. I kind of use my shreds for cushioning. But this box sitting in here is I don't really need cushion and I only just need to cover up where I would see white paper but this is just an idea of where I'm going with it the um, backers that I have because I don't have any from Valentine's Day is basically gift boxes that I got from Christmas um, I bought these when they was half off. I wish I could have caught them 90% off, but honey, my little lazy self do not like to be shopping for no deals. I did not want to go from store to store to find them. The store that they was initially at, I was like, honey, they ain't got no more. I ain't even going back. Because that's how I be sometimes, but then I got to just try it and see. Anyway, these was 10 gift boxes. I'm using different sizes. The size that I have in the back is 8 by 2 8 inches by 2 inches by 11. So basically an 8 by 11 pack. It don't matter what size it is. I just put it in the back to cover up the back. Um, and then I'm finna start filling my stuff. Uh, shoot. Most of my stuff I have in little buckets already. You know, like the little... I'm sorry. The little stuff I get from... You know, the little last minute gift boxes. That I get from... Uh oh. Dollar Tree. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, most of my stuff is already in them buckets. So... I go from stuff into just trying to figure out what I'm going to put in it. I be kind of already having my stuff together. Last year, if you've seen it in my last year videos, I was kind of like going, filling my buckets, then going back and doing it. But I just feel like right now I want to do it a different way. Um, as you can see, I got my loafers over here. 
different perfumes over here many many timu boxes but in this bucket i just kept some stuff that i knew that was colorized but i'm really not using it y'all i'm really using this stuff right here that's already mapped out in colors mostly and i'm gonna pull from this area to get my stuff consistently yeah i mean get my stuff done because like i said last year i did them in the buckets like this filled up everything and then i had to come back take it out of the bucket being that the ups boxes are helping me i said why not go ahead have them already ready and then i can just go boom bam boom bam instead of filling them taking them out then filling them and putting them together assembling them you know what i'm saying so this is just a look i wanted to come in and show y'all to show y'all how i'm doing them very quick and simple so i'm basically going to be doing three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen baskets at a time um, what I can say, I don't know when I start. I start, I stop, I start, I stop. But I will get a time um, right now. What time is it, y'all? I can't even see what time it is. My watch ain't even on. I don't have no watches on, y'all. So, shoot, Sedarius, what time is it? I'm going to tell y'all what time I start and what time I stop. How long it took me to do. 18 baskets both doing being that i got the stuff over there i already took out stuff over here i already took out that i can snatch and grab it should not take that long but i will let y'all know when i start that when i start my next video i'll know what time it is and what time i finish give you a heads up on everything but it should go smoothly from here um as you can see these little buckets right here i already know i want to use these look at those y'all ain't they so cute and i got three of them so that means I might do each and last one of them the same way. Because if I got more than multiple, you know, multiple stuff of the same item, if I got at least three, I'm going to do them the exact same way, be done with them. Because I need to get at least 150 baskets done. Today is the first, y'all. So far, I only have 10 bags done. None sold. Only 10 done. All day long, people's been asking, well, how much are they? How much are they? And I've been saying 100, 125. They be like, okay, well, you got anything for 75? You got anything for 50? I said, you know what? enough of those pink bags enough of those timu hauls i got everything in so far i can just be on the road clockwork i can do about if i'm gonna set this up and do 18 baskets all in all y'all me be rolling like i be rolling i probably can do 100 baskets in two days three days because i got everything i need i can just be keep going 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 what slows me up i feel is when i have to stop to wrap my bags when i have to stop the wrap because even though i got these 18 done and it only probably took me an hour to get them together. It probably take me two hours to dang on wrap them. No, I'm just saying. Not that long. But I'm just saying it'll be taking me a little while to play around with that wrapping, y'all. Um, I wish I could just move these to the side and not wrap them. But then it's probably... We're just going to know in this video how long it took for everything. But these, I'm definitely going to use these for these, y'all. And being the fact that I ordered these on Thursday. Today is Monday. I ordered them the 27th. Um, and I got them in on the 1st. So I ordered them on Thursday. I got them in today, which is Monday. That was pretty quick. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my butt on there and start me a whole nother one. Get me about some more of these. Because I'm loving that this fits this one. And then I also got it in pink, y'all. And look, it fits that one. Jam up. It fits that one. Cute enough. So I do three and three and be done with it. And then guess what? I'm going to take my butt on t move, order the rest. But I got to wait because I'm playing fish land. So that means I ain't gotta I gotta feed my fish at 12. Tonight I'm gonna order me some more and see how fast they come in. Y'all know Mother's Day is next Sunday. But let me stop talking and get into this video, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I will stand the camera up and let me show y'all doing it and talk to y'all the whole time. But hmm. I'll be doing a lot of moving around and in between time that'll make the video time go up. But y'all know I'll talk to y'all. You know that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this camera up and go ahead and get to work out everybody welcome back to my channel and as you know i started this video i was showing you how i'm lining up my stuff unfortunately for some reason i don't know if it's brain freeze or what it's just not working for me um as you know normally when i do this i be done throw some stuff in it pull it move one pull it to the side but i don't know something just isn't working for me as you can see here i have the shoe everything looks pretty in the front but then as i get towards the back i really don't have much i'm putting in these things so that's what's throwing me off you know normally valentine's day we have candy easter we have candy last year i think i had candy because i did get some from leftover from valentine's day but this time i don't have any candy i'm feeling like i have so many empty spaces left i have something right here don't move but i feel like that pink bag also looks good y'all if y'all didn't see my last timu haul it was in these pink bags um but yeah, I'm just feeling like 
something is not there for me with these gift baskets okay this one is fine i ended up you know and by it being a bb set that's good enough for that one um this one is it took me a while to get it together i have the black and white happy mother's day i'm gonna put down here i maybe should have did black and red now that i look at it but um then we have the i love you bear with the with the bear the rose we have that um comb set and then i have this stiletto book i got from city trends it was 4.99 i have this what is it makeup removal balm some dove um deodorant a loafer and as you can see right here i have nothing else in this space it's like i gotta find something else this is not maybe it's the boxes that i put in here you know normally i can layer it better maybe it's because of the boxes um i might just have to go back to how i usually make them putting the packaging paper down and laying them that way because then i'm able to layer them with my um tissue paper like this one this one was quite easy to me um i just put a few items in there once i wrap it it'll sit up front i put some of the rainbow perfume a brush a loafer the faith bag um a back loafer the bath salt some body wash and a bear and that was it and it fits like once i put it pull it together with the shrink wrap it's gonna stand up it's gonna be good and it's full but that's what packaging paper up under it so i'm feeling like it's the boxes that's making it where i just have to have so much more space i don't know this is another concept i got from i think this was 169 it was like 228 something like that from timu it was in another timu haul as well this perfume was from rainbow um loving the glitter that it has on it as you know i take the boxes to keep up extra space my bow looking like my bear looking like he choking back there so i might have to do something else um i haven't made it back here to this one but that one gonna be like a pink bag concept but that's about all i got in here and as you can see i have the bath salt the um clear clear mad um clay mads and i have some body wash which my body wash is being hidden I feel like it's the boxes y'all I, I feel like i don't want to use the boxes i want to go my regular way because i'm feeling like they taking up either too much space or they're not helping me with layering my baskets now on top of that i can always go up under here put some packaging paper some tissue paper some shreds lift it up but um the little bit i've been pinching off i see that i would probably have to take one bag just to lift anything up off of these boxes so i'm not sure if these boxes are a good idea i'm gonna keep working with them i even went to sleep y'all woke back up and was like maybe i just got brain fish i need to wake up and rethink everything but no it's like i just need so much more items and without candy it's throwing me off i feel like i want to go today and go buy some candy some kind of snacks to put in these women baskets to take up that additional space to not have to put so much value in it that's what i'm thinking i'm gonna do if y'all have some suggestions just comment down below let me know but so far they are looking cute and with all this inventory i got y'all y'all would think it'd be easy but even with all of the inventory i got i would have to use a massive amount to cover up those areas and i just need something inexpensive to put in these spaces to cover them up because now i'm looking like with all the stuff i got it's still not enough that's what i'm i'm thinking but um, like I said, this one was kind of okay. As you can see, it has the bonnet, the brush, the mirror, the bear, the body wash, the loaf, the body salt, a pink, cute pink bag, and some perfume. This one itself definitely looks valuable because of the pink bag and the perfume in it. So um, I have one of those um, little soaps right here that fell down. I have to pick up and grab it. So that wasn't too bad. I even changed the bear. At first, I didn't have this bear. I had this one cute but um it, it wasn't given with this color that i have so that was a different thing um this one is gonna be cute as well it just seems like i need so much more stuff to add in these things and normally my baskets are full so i don't want to put them out there and then they be like well shoot this ain't nothing like what it was last time you know what i'm saying so i feel like i gotta go buy some packages of candy or something to put in this stuff and keep it moving because i'm trying to run through today i'm trying to do um 50 baskets okay 50 baskets this is already what um 19 baskets on this table if i get my ideas together, get some more stuff to help fill it i can have this done in an hour that's 19 and then i just keep going rotating it over and over and over i can do 50 in a day okay so um especially with all the inventory i have y'all y'all should think it should be easy for me but it's not um so yeah i'm gonna just probably go to dollar tree walk around see what i can find and i wanted to not have to buy anything to just keep going with what i have but i just need some candy so i will go do that i just wanted to come in and show you 
so far how far I've gotten and like I said this with the perfume the purse and the wallet to match it is amazing that's pretty much all it need but I do feel like it need more space I need to poof this up a little this one is completely it as well so they're coming out okay but it's just like this one needs something to cover up that space and I don't want to put any more valuable stuff in there to cover it up this one is okay this one was okay and this one I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with as well I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with just that loafer in there now the heels everything it looks like it's full it's just something else is missing a couple bags of candy or something i gotta go find it y'all but last time i went to dollar tree they really didn't have many things to eat mother's day they actually didn't have anything neither did walmart so maybe i'll do like a walmart cart find what i can find and then i'll come back and show y'all what i came up with okay all right y'all so after i got through my little rent with y'all trying to figure it out i went into dollar tree I found some all right stuff that'll help take up the space, but honey, I don't want to spend $360 and I got all that stuff in there, y'all. So I might just have to take what I got and do with what I have. Um, went to my wholesale supply, y'all. Yeah, I already know y'all don't bought them out, they still didn't have some of the colors I needed. Um, but they had these, y'all. They had these for two. Why do it feel halfway full? This one feel like it been used. And I ain't even noticed that, y'all. This one does too. Oh my goodness. This one feel like it's halfway full, y'all. But that was $2.49. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that. And I just picked them up. I had so many, I was just throwing them in the thingies. And didn't even notice. They don't even feel all the way full, some of them. Oh Lord. Okay. These was five dollars and forty-four cents. Um, six candles. I got them in like purple and pink. Um, I got some little baskets, um, boxes. I'm gonna take this stuff out, pull it out, and show it to y'all. Oh, they had these. I thought these was cute to go with some of our stuff. But honey, I got a whole case of stuff here, a box of stuff here bags and stuff going all the way to the back so i knew that it wasn't oh and i went to hamper house again if y'all here in georgia hamper house has the um shreds that you can use but i'm gonna pull this stuff out i was thinking i can just show y'all while it's in here because honey once i get in that house ain't no telling where this stuff gonna end up getting put because it's so much of it everywhere nowhere for it to go um so Darius, come and help me but let me get this stuff in the house and then i'll hopefully be able to set it up and show y'all while i'm back i don't made it in the house um i'm just gonna leave this one like this y'all all i did was i found some flowers that were this color that helped take up a little space um but that's it this is all i'm gonna do for this basket in all i got a back loafer i got the faith pack a bear some bath salts the body wash the dove the perfume from rainbow and the the hair brush i feel like i need to throw a bunny in here too since i got the brush in here but either way it goes um all together i got one two three four five six seven and i'm gonna call this seven even though it was only 79 cent and eight so i got eight dollar tree items that's basically about ten dollars then i have um the three dollar perfume that i got from rainbow it was a little bit under three it was 333 a little bit under because as you know i used the coupon so we that's 13 dollars with the bucket and a bag just say that's gonna range out to be about 15 dollars y'all so like i said one two three four five six seven eight nine items is all i put in this basket that i'm gonna sell for fifty dollars hmm i put fifteen dollars in it so that would be a um thirty five dollar profit not too bad ten of those sold that'll be three hundred and fifty dollars so i'm looking at about fifty dollars because like i said there's nothing in here besides the perfume and the other little items um but hey it's a cute little basket they got a back loafer to wash their back multiple things to wash their body a little loafer in the back some you know it's just like a freshen up set either way it goes i'm gonna put a cute bow on it with some i bought some i'm tired of my little bows y'all I, I gotta go find me some ribbon to make my bows so um i put that with it it's gonna be 50 dollars. boom um this one right here came back honestly when i came back y'all maybe my spirit was a little bit better all i did was put some little shreds up under the bottom and move the stuff around and added this this is some bath bombs that's all i added to this set that i did not like at all before i left the house y'all 
All I have in it is a rainbow um perfume, a bear, some bath salt, some bath and body, some body wash I meant, some rejuvenating clay mask. I've already told y'all this already. So let me just tell you how many things is in here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna count this as seven and eight for Dollar Tree. So that's ten dollars. Then we have that, which makes it thirteen. This was one seventy nine. So we'll say fifteen, and this was three dollars, which makes it eighteen. With the bag and the bowl, let's call it a twenty dollar wrap. Um, so twenty dollars for this one. This one I'm definitely gonna sell for about sixty dollars because of the person inside. That's gonna be a sixty dollar basket, and also this perfume is much nicer than this one. I feel like this one looks more moneyish, you know more like money so i might do 65 on this one once i put my bow on it because it's a purse suit um this one here came back y'all let me tell y'all went and sat down got me some little um hibachi chicken and shrimp bought the kids some i went shopping i went to my wholesale supply got some old dove stuff they really didn't have anything y'all the hookahs is irrelevant right now so um went down didn't find too much got what i can get and i'm so upset that half of my bottles my johnson johnson bottles empty i'm a little bit upset about that and um apparently i wasn't paying no attention i just was picking them up putting them in the thing because even some of them was dirty i'm like what the world let me show y'all one uh oh how they turn like that that ain't never did that i must have dropped my camera too much honey because i just dropped it outside but this ain't one i can't I'm trying to reach over and grab one. Here you go. Look at that. How did you pick this up, Tanisha? This thing ain't dusty and dirty, but knowing me, I probably said I'd wipe it off. I'll just wipe it off because I wanted it. But then again, it's halfway full. That's not the only one. But I was a little bit disappointed about that. But anyway, um, so came back after eating my food. For some reason, the baskets is just is what it is. I was overthinking it at first, y'all. So, it's still the same thing here. I just added this to it. And um, I still got to figure this out. Because once I... Uh-oh. This thing fall over one more time. As I move this stuff out the way, y'all, it's still laying. It's laying back. So, I have to kind of pull it up, tape it together once I get room. But this is about all I'm going to put in there. The only thing I added was this and this. And that's going to get this basket a wrap and get this a $65 basket as well. It's all over the place because I don't have any backers to kind of hold my stuff up like I normally do. But at the same time, it's going to work out because I just got to pull it up and tape it down. Um, this is another one. I did nothing but added this back to it. And that's a completed basket. Um, this one, it was already completed when I showed y'all. This one right here, that I, this one really was like not inspiring me i was like you know what i gotta figure this out because this one was just too empty so i felt like i needed candy and stuff like that to go in there but honey all i did was when it got me two flowers put it in there and that was it that's all i did i put one on the side that was empty another on the side that was empty and that's all i did y'all that was completely it when i left here i was like it's nothing i could I, I, even when i came back it was nothing i could pour in there so once i put those flowers in there they was good to go that's it for that basket um so yeah we have six completed and i'll go back and show you the rest of them but this line is not working i don't have a room i'm better off just doing like three or four at a time this 19 line i don't have room to maneuver around so i'm about to start wrapping breaking them down if i had a backer like i normally do last time i did it this way it didn't affect me y'all i had something holding everything up so it was easy to me but by them falling this way this is falling that way that's leaning that way it's not working for me because i usually have the backers you know the little love wild decor things you get from dollar tree i don't have those so it's not working for me and i know a lot of you don't normally use that but normally i do and that's i guess it's just not working for me because of that i have these which are very flimsy not holding my stuff so yeah um let me finish up y'all i'll come back and show y'all the rest all right, y'all, so we are back, and I did uh, the rest of the baskets on the table. I did four more baskets off the table, and it looks like I got three, four, five, six, seven more left, y'all. Seven, eight, nine more left. So this is another concept. I was just trying to do them the same as I can do them to make them quick as I can do them. Um, this one right here, only thing I put on them, if y'all remember this gorgeous glow bag, it is a um, little bag we got from when we was doing the Burlington haul 
Let me see if I can pick it up with nothing moving. And I can. So it has two, four, it's a five piece set. Yeah, it's a five piece set. Woo. Lord. That's why I be trying to tape up as much as I can because it shall be falling out. But anyway, it's nothing to see the back up there. Um, that's a five piece set I have in the back of it that I paid about $2.50 for. I have the bear, the dove. Um, I have some Kimberly Rose perfume from Rainbow. Some clay mask and just some roses. I have one rose, two, three, four roses. Um, a body sponge, loaf or whatever you call it. And that's about it. So in all, with both of these together, y'all, and I hate this one fell back, but it matches my set. I only had one of those, so I had to pick something else that was kind of that color, which was that. And both of these was basically the exact same, except I changed the bear up from the cream bear to the brown and the perfume up from the um, the rose one to the body shape one. Both of these I'm going to sell for um, $55. I'll make a $40 profit. I have six the items in there, well, um, I mean five Dollar Tree items, including the bucket. Um, we have the bear, two, three, and the soap in the back. I say four, and then with the bucket makes five. I called, even though this was 79 cent and my um, dull body soap was less than that, I just added in for like tax, even though I don't pay tax, or anything else that could have been inside of what I needed, the sticker I'm going to put on it or whatever. So basically, in all, with the five Dollar Tree items includes the bucket, I spent six dollars. Just say two fifty for this one and three dollars for that one. Just round it off at six dollars. So round it off at six dollars. In all, I'm putting fifteen dollars in here, and that's rounded off. It was like thirteen. That's some change. I just rounded off the fifteen to include the bag. So with that being said, I'm gonna make a forty dollar profit as long as I sell them for fifty five. If I had to sell them for 50, somebody say, well, you'll take 50. Yes, I'll take 50. Um, like I said, I only have five Dollar Tree items, and that includes the bucket. So really just four items. This whole set has one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that makes seven items in all. That's all it took for me to make this basket besides the roses. And y'all know we got these for two dollars and some change from um Timu. From my Timu haul. So if you haven't already seen my Timu haul, go ahead and check that out. It's crunch time. You still probably got a couple days that you can order. That's why I tried my best to push those um, Timu hauls out first to give you time to order that stuff. Those was only two dollars and some for those roses, y'all. And I think it was what twenty four. I'm not sure, but hey, this basket basically is just roses, roses all over the front, the perfume, and the kit in the back. That's definitely good for fifty five dollars because they get in that set in the back and that perfume. Um, moving along to this one, this one right here, I'm going to make for, um, 75 or $80. If I make it for 75, I make a $54 profit because I put $21 in here. If I sell it for 80, then I make a 59 profit. So I'm kind of stuck in between what I want to charge 75 or 84, but I know that I only put $21 in it. This pink bag was $3.49. And then I have the Paris perfume, which is very cute. I love the way it shapes. I just put it in there since it was silver and pink. It can go with the pink, um, you know, because I didn't have anything else that was this color. So I put a little rose from Dollar Tree. I clipped one off the thing. I have some bath soap, some a body loafer, some body wash, a bonnet with a brush, a back um, loafer. Um, one of those time at the time soaps and a little dove cream in the back if you can see so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine Dollar Tree items y'all nine Dollar Tree items in the book it makes ten that was um, rounded off to about fourteen dollars and then I paid seven dollars for the pink bag and the perfume together so in all I spent twenty one dollars and like I said I'm only gonna put I'm, I'm gonna sell it for seventy five or $80. Either way, I'm going to make over a $50 profit. And I'm going to put a little Happy Mother's Day sticker down here. So I'm just showing y'all this video to show y'all. It don't really take much. You know how I was like, I feel like it needs something else. Half of the time, I was just sticking um, shreds in there or the flowers. This year, because I don't have no candies or nothing like that, I'm using flowers. And I hate that when I shrink wrap these, y'all, it kind of shrinks it up. I should be using cellophane wrap, but my stuff, um, I don't really like using cellophane. It just don't work for me. It don't like me at all, okay? 
Um, this one right here, I got the bucket with a rose. I got a Happy Mother's Day um, stick. The four piece. I used the four piece set because I had the nine piece set in here, which is right here with some candles. I got to go get some candles holders. I seen baskets and more hats. Her sitting on little counter pedestals. But I got these for my wholesale supplier. They was 89 cents a piece. But I took this big box out because I felt like this smaller box worked for it. I took that back out. I took that back out. You know, I just be playing around with stuff. Seeing how it works. And I just was like, okay, since I did the rose bear, even though I got the roses up front, my front is completely full. All, uh, all in all, the only thing I did else was put them some soap a body loafer and some body wash in the back and that was it they didn't even get body cream in this one that's all they're getting for this one and this one i spent um 15 dollars rounded off 14 dollars but i rounded off the 15 um between the heel the rose bear and the baby rose these three items i only paid nine to eight dollars and fifty cent i have four dollar tree items which is the um body wash the loafer the um bar soap and the the basket the bucket so um yeah all in all i rounded it out to 15 even though it's under 15 because you know i include the bag and stuff like that the couple cents i might have used for that the sticker which really don't matter it's really basically 13 dollars that i put in this basket i'm gonna sell it for 15 i mean for 65 dollars 15 is what i rounded it off and i'm going to make a um 50 profit because this one i'm going to sell for 65 I feel like I could have got more if I put a little bit more in it because of this rose bell itself. It's kind of expensive and all of that stuff. I really can charge $75 for this. If I charge $75 for this, it's going to be a um, $60 profit. So I'm, I'm kind of stuck in between $50 and $75. Because of that rose bell, I feel like it can go for $75. Um, and then that heel shoe perfume makes it go up as well. So I'm not sure y'all because I got the rose soap. But it's like I said, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six items in all. Six items in all for this bucket for 75. I feel like it's a little excessive. excessive. Just 65 would be cool. Even though I got that rose berry in it though. So I don't know. I have to make make it 75. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue on because I have, like I said, about nine more than I'm gonna do. My pillow um baskets are coming up next. My um, boxes are coming up next. As you can see, I already have all of my boxes stacked. Um, I got them in three. So I got three, six, nine, 12, 15. And I think I got some on the floor because I'm doing 20. Oh, there go one over there, 16. So I'm doing 20 boxes. Um, oh, here go three more. Okay, that's 19. So I need one more box to make it an even 20 and then I wrap more. Me and Kissel was up last night. She talking about she don't gonna do 10 boxes, y'all. But we was up last night and it took me probably like two hours to wrap these boxes. If that long, we was talking and doing stuff in between. I just was like, let me wrap up all my boxes. And as you know, I keep them stacked in threes. That helps keep them, you know, out of the way. You can stack these in. Well, I could have stacked them over there in the corner, but I just happened to put them over here on my Timu boxes. But it was fairly easy. Wrapped them up real fast. Stuck them in a the box. And boom bam there we go 20 boxes i'm ready to line those up next um i have my hookahs i had some hookahs from there from um valentine day and i never did use that big um musical hookah so and then i had when and picked up about five more hookahs that i can find there i only had to get the cases because they didn't have y'all don't so bought them people out honey y'all don't went over there i can't even get none now but anyway i still have some so i'm gonna use these for my big box hookahs i still have burlington sets left so i feel like i might do 20 for my burlington sets because that's probably how many i have left and then another 20 for my um I'm going to be using my rose bells and my hookahs. So I got a few more videos coming up. Well, a lot more videos coming up because I have not made nothing without putting on this camera. Basically, I have showed y'all. I really don't have much um, except the pink bags. If I was duplicating the pink bags, I didn't put them back on. I just went on and did them like these. I duplicated them, replicated them, but it was different. So I said, let me show y'all these as well. But yeah, I got a lot of videos coming up, y'all. Just hold off i know y'all probably just watching while y'all making and half of y'all about done i had somebody dm me and say she had about 300 baskets i have to catch up on my dms and stuff when i put out that giveaway it was a lot of ss um responses and comments that i just hasn't had time to get to 
Um, and I'm just going back and forth for y'all on the DM, so I got to take time to do that. But it's been a long weekend, my son's birthday, so I didn't do my live this Sunday. We went and took him out go-karting and jumping and laser tags and all kind of stuff. So I didn't do my live this Sunday. But um, today is the third. It's taken me about two days to get this table clear because I'm doing this and doing that and stopping here. But I did cut off my um, Uber Eats and DoorDash. I'm not going to be able to keep doing that all day and making baskets at the same time so today is just a full basket day you're gonna probably get about five videos pop out but hopefully um it give y'all some good ideas for those that still got brain freeze like i'm still at day with under 10 days nine days eight days and i'm still having brain freeze with some of this stuff because i got too much going on so hopefully this stuff will give y'all some ideas what i'm putting in my stuff really not putting them that much that much no more but i'm still gonna maximize my profit and get all right y'all so i am back i have four more baskets i've been doing them in fours um well this one i have five more baskets because it's just easier more room to maneuver around i couldn't do them in the rows like i tried um what i can tell you is these two right here i'm in love with i'm gonna sell these for um what am i gonna do a hundred dollars i think okay so let me tell you what i have in it first of all right here i'm gonna round off the heel perfume i mean not the heel per this uh, this is it over here y'all i'm sorry the pink perfume which is the silhouette of the woman as you know i taped it you can see the tape when i zoom in closer but i taped it up together to the box because i want my perfumes to be shown and not hidden inside the box as you can see that is a cute box on top of the perfume that comes in it so i just wanted both of them to shine um, I have a loafer, some pink lotion, a pink bag, um, a bear, some bath and, what is it, bath and beauty, body wash, some dove, and a dove, um, cream. That's basically all I have in this basket besides I put a couple flowers in there to take up any space that I felt like it needed. And all together, I rounded off $26 was used for this basket i got six dollar tree items and i have um between the perfume the bag and the pink between this this and this it rounds out to be about uh eighteen dollars because i paid about three dollars for this it was 333 but i had 10 off so it was way under three dollars for this like 284 so three dollars for this um this was like 550 a set 550 and this was 974 so i rounded out to be 18 dollars for these um then i have my dollar tree items which was the loafer the bear the shower gel even though those are not dollar tree i called them dollar tree and i have the bucket so once i added all that stuff together i came up with 26 dollars y'all um what i'm looking to sell it for uh 26 definitely about 85 90 dollars possibly 100 because they got the pink lotion they got the perfume they got the bag they're not sure how much this costs possibly not sure how much that costs not sure that pink bag at pink probably was about 30 dollars so if i round it out to about 30 and that's about 30 that's 60 already so i definitely want to get about 85 95 dollars for this basket i'm not sure yet I know that somebody was saying in my price and I don't charge for my time. And no, I don't charge for my time. Um, long as once I put my money in it, I double the profit. Most likely triple the profit what I be doing. I'm good with that. I'm not going to include my time. Nobody cares when they walk up to your table. They don't ask you, well, how long it took you to make it? Well, how long you been mas making baskets? So I know a lot of people like to throw their experience and time into it. But if I did that, y'all... This basket would be about $200 with five items in it, if you get what I'm saying. So that's why out on the streets, when I'm shopping for baskets, I see baskets like this that's overly priced. And I just walk away from it because I'm like, no, I'm not paying that for that. You know, I just look at if it's valuable, how much value I'm putting in it, how much I price it out to be. So, yeah, my pricing could be a little bit different for anyone, but that's how I do it in my opinion. I don't charge for my time. I don't charge for my years of experience, regardless of how many years I've been doing it. That's just like with t-shirts. I was only charging about $4.95 for my t-shirts when you get $100, which most people were charging $3.95, $8.95, whatever they were charging. But I would rather be high and get a lot of people than be cheap and hardly get none. That's been my motto for years. So let's just say 
I might sell a couple of these, but I'd rather sell out if you get what I'm saying. And I'm not being scared of my prices. I know how my people is around here. I know I can get over them if I want it. But I intend on people coming back to me when they open it up and be like, oh, yeah, she got some good stuff in here. Just like the man called me today. He was like, you doing Mother's Day baskets? I was like, yeah, man called me the other day. You did Mother's Day? You doing Mother's Day baskets? So apparently their mate or whoever they gave that gift to, Valentine's Day, Easter, wherever they got me from, they really enjoyed that basket enough to even return to me. So that's what I, when I price my stuff, that's what I do. They don't ask you when you pick up, a, when they come to pick out a basket, uh, how many blood, sweat, and tears you put in that basket. They don't ask you that. Now, I know some of you can price your baskets different from me, but I base mine being on where I sell. The neighborhood that I sell in, I try to be affordable. I don't, I don't lose regardless. Because most of this stuff, if I'm putting $20 in it, I'm getting $80 profit, if you get what I'm saying. So that's double, that's more than tripling my profit. So yeah, I try to be, I don't put that, I don't, I don't pay myself in time. I don't add that. I have people that, hey, if you know that you're going to charge, if you're two and a half times, whatever you paid for it came up to 50, add 15 extra dollars in there for your time. So instead of you charging 50 for it, make it 65. Definitely add that fifteen dollars in there for your time. If you're just saying that, okay, if I was at a job, I'd be making fifteen dollars an hour. Add fifteen dollars for that hour, even though it takes you, you could probably make five or six of these in an hour, or ten of these in an hour. Adding fifteen dollars is fine, but I overly price what my two and a half, three and a half times supposed to be anyway. I always go beyond that. So you can say that yeah, I did add my time in it, but I just base it on what I feel like. I want to get for it. I don't undercharge for it. Like I said, I'm going to sell this for about $100, being that it has the pink bag, the pink um, lotion, and this. Just say on the screen, if you look this up at Amazon, I think it was $39.99 or $29.99. Let's just say $30. So we have $30 for this, $30 for that at pink. That's $60. This is priced at $17.98. That's basically $80 right there. So the other little stuff that I throwed in here, which was really nothing, a dove. I have a dove soap down at the bottom, some body spray uh, deodorant, some bath body wash, the loafer, and the dove cream. It's not pretty much that but once i put that bow in that bag on it i can get a hundred dollars for what i feel so that means that my big pink bags i want 150. the least i would accept for this basket right here is about 85 dollars now when i was out selling for valentine days i would sometimes i go down five dollars um but a lot of the times i went having people try me so just say I got something for 50, they talking about, well, let me get it for 25. No, you cannot. You can pick something over there for 25. So if I had something for 75, I wasn't getting people that say, let me get it for 50. No, you can't get it for 50. If I want 75, I'll give it to you for 70. If I want 50, I might give it to you for 45. I'll come off about $5, but that's about it. That's the least I'm going to come up off of my prices. But anyway... Just wanted to touch bases in that pen for your time. Add $15, $20. But if you are already doing about four and a half, five times what it's really worth, you're overdoing it. My opinion. But that's my opinion. That's just how I feel. Because I'm already going to charge 100 and it's basically in this basket probably not retail value at nothing but 60 If you get what I'm saying. So, I don't want to be too expensive where they like, well, shoot, I might as well just go in the store and buy it and put it together myself. I'm affordable. But I'm high at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all think that 100 is okay for that, y'all let me know. But like I said, the least I would take is about $85, but I want 100 for it. I'm going to put 100 tag on to see how it goes. It should go well because it has a pink duffel, a baby mini pink duffel, a pink lotion, and that. They don't know where that came from. They don't know how expensive it is unless there's somebody that already shops at Rainbow. Um, Like I said, I think I said I put, what, $26 in here? Yep, $26. I'm going to sell it for 100 so that's going to be a $72 profit. Y'all, that's a lot. That's a good profit for me. Even if it was $70 profit, that's a good profit to me. Anytime I'm making over $50, it feels good to me. Because I only got to sell 10 of them to get $500 profit in my pocket. Not what I paid in all. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's good. Um, we have this one, which was really cute to me. And then I have this one, the stiletto one. This is the one that I first seen ever at Rainbow that made me take off and go buy $1,000 worth of perfume, honey. This is the one that I first seen before I went stiletto crazy, okay? Um, I did these little stickers. I just printed out different colors. I did um, color overlay and Photoshop to give me my different colors on the baskets. Um, I took this stiletto shoe, that pack of house shoes that had the hearts on it. They feel so good, y'all. They was at Timor, I think, for $249 or $349, one of them. 
maybe 328 i don't i don't know but then i have because it's inside my haul y'all ain't seen that haul y'all they had some good stuff in there and i priced everything for y'all i got the body wash to match the basket this stiletto shoe kind of doesn't you know stick into it but it works you know i did it because of that little color at the top it fades in the black and then the black and gold it kind of doesn't but i like that the gold kind of works with that so all I put in this basket was some of those $2 pajamas we got when Family Dollar was doing the pajamas. Some of those house shoes from Timu. A bonnet, a brush, a body wash, and a loafer for them to wash their body. It's like a little nighttime set. You can come out of the body, you can come out of bathing yourself with the loafer and the body wash. Brush your hair, put your bonnet on, honey. Put your pajama pants and your house shoes on. Now, you don't, I don't know what you're going to do about your top. You might just want to go top. Because I don't know who you sleep with. If you're a parent, just wear a t-shirt. If I had a little top, that would have been nice. But for now, I don't took care of your bottoms. Put a dang on t-shirt for the top. That's good enough for a nighttime basket. I duplicated that basket the same exact way all three ways. It was very quick, simple. I already knew how I was going to stuff it. I grabbed my little stiletto, my body wash, put that stuff in there, and boom, I was done. But in the back of here, I put it in the back instead of in the front for some reason. Over here, the only thing I changed was the house shoes, and I'm out of flowers. See, I got a little flower from Dollar Tree. I'm going to run up there tomorrow and try to get me some more. But, yeah, I just duplicated this same little set over. Uh, the brush is a little bit different as well. But just duplicated this set with a different thing of high shoes, a different brush, and I got to go get another flower. And it was real simple, y'all. I got All I got to do now is just wrap these up, and I'll be done with them. Um, that last set right here, what I put in it was basically this $3 for this um stiletto. And then I have four Dollar Tree items. And basically with the stiletto, the house shoes, and the pants, it's I rounded it off to be nine dollars. It was a little bit under nine, it was around about eight, seven nights and change. So with the two dollar pajamas, the three dollar house shoes, and the three, yeah, it was about eight dollars and some change. So I rounded it out to nine dollars, y'all. With the Dollar Tree items, this basket concept came up to fourteen dollars. Sixteen dollars that I rounded it off to be um including the bucket. But sixteen dollars, y'all, and I'm gonna sell this for sixty-five dollars. $65 for this, I put $16 for in it. $26 I put in for this, I want $100 for it. And that's it. That's it for this concept. How, sorry if I took a little time to kind of explain my way of pricing. Sometimes my pricing is all over the place. It's not rocket science. You know, just don't underprice yourself, okay? I, it's okay to overprice yourself. Because some cases you can say, well, what you want? What you got? You know what I'm saying? But if they say, oh, I got 60 oh, well, you need to go on the other side of the table honey but no i don't say it like that but i'm just saying you know what you want for what just work it out a hundred dollars for this i feel like it's good and i feel like regardless if i put my time in it or not that's a fair price i definitely i mean the time that i have to run to different stores on the daily sometimes 10 12 different times um going across town trying to catch a deal if i put that time in my basket y'all i don't know my basket gonna be this basket right here be worth 500 dollars if you get what I'm trying to say, how I think about it. This basket will be about $1,500. $1, if, if you look at how I did. Because, honey, I don't ran across town about 10 times a day. I mean, 10 times this week. I don't went to Dollar Trees, about 10 of them. I don't went to the warehouse. So, if I definitely put my time into it, this basket going to be $1,000. So, I just don't do mine like that because, you know... It's my business. And if I was working at, well, I was working just say McDonald's. For those out eight hours that I'm inside of that shop, I'm going to be working like a Hebrew. Hebrew. Okay? S word. Y'all know what I want to say. I'm going to be really, really working for that person because their manager's watching me. Probably getting on my nerves saying, go do this, go do that. So if you can go to someone else's job and do, have that energy, have that same type of energy when it comes to your business. So when it comes to my business, if I got to run across town and get something, that's fine. Um, and I do it a lot. I need to kind of cut down on it because I got too much stuff going on already. So, yeah, I don't put my time in because if I did, honey, this is a $500 basket. That thing will be sitting on my table to next year probably. But, hey, somebody might pay it, but I know they might not come back next year after they be don't feel like, realize they got nothing for that $500. But I think I have two, four more baskets, y'all. I have two more red and black and two more in the back. But guess what? I'm going to stop this video. Go ahead and get it out. It was long enough. Those little four baskets I'll show it to y'all in another video. I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can get it out to y'all. Because I got to work on my boxes. As you can see, I probably already showed y'all the boxes are stacked up. Ready to go. Stacked up, ready to go. I have some, um, I have to do my 20 and under dollar. No, I'm not doing no 20 and under. I'm going to do 25. 
I'm gonna do 25. I gotta do my little buckets for 20 and my little boxes I got that I gotta show y'all for 25. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video. If you haven't already liked this video when it came on, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I was all over the place, honey. I was like uh, in my mood the other day and I started setting this table up. I wasn't feeling nothing that I was feeling. And then when I came out of my head and like, girl, just put this stuff together. Put this ish together, okay? So when I came out of my head about it, it was like, this same basket that you did not like, it's completely full and it's the same exact basket. So sometimes we be in our head a little bit too much. Step away, go take a bite to eat, sit down to yourself for about a minute, go back, and then reevaluate it. Because when I came back and reevaluated my baskets, my baskets looked perfectly fine and I didn't really do nothing but add a dang on rolls. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. You've already subscribed to this channel and you've liked it and you are ready for some more videos, y'all. They're coming out back, back to back to back to back. I mean, Mother's Day is Sunday, so yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and shrink wrap these baskets, get them tied up with the bows on them, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't want to let myself down my